ഹായ് ഹലോ ഐ എം ശിശിരാ ജോയ് സെക്കൻഡ് എം എസ് സി ബയോളജി സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഇൻ സെൻറ്റ് മേരീസ് കോളേജ് തൃശ്ശൂർ നൗ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ട്രഡീഷണൽ ആൻഡ് റേഷണൽ അപ്രോച്ച് ഫോർ ഡ്രഗ് ഡിസ്കവറി പ്രോസസ് സിൻസ് ദ ബിഗിനിങ് ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റി വി ഹാവ് ട്രൈ ടു അലിവേറ്റ് ഇൽനെസ് ഓർ സിംറ്റം ഓഫ് ദി ഇൽനെസ് ട്രഡീഷണൽ മെഡിസിൻ യൂസ് ദ തിങ്സ് നേഷർ ബട്ട് നൗ വി യൂസ് മോർ സ്പെസിഫിക് സയൻറ്റിഫിക് സയൻറ്റിഫിക് വേ than our ancestors drug idea early were initiated from active in- ingredients of traditional remedies or serendipitous discoveries now drug discovery and process have expanded from chemist physiologist and statisticians example jk3 kinase mutation cause severe side effects pfizer collaboration with transplant center at stanford at Uh, to test drug with transplant recipient the traditional approach has two method early research and discovery process second one drug development and approval process in early research and drug discovery process uh, the first one is the target identification and validation lead compound screening and lead compound optimization the second one drug development and approval process has preclinical studies ind request with the fda clinical trials nda filing with fda post market safety monitoring methods first the early research and discovery process we discussing the target identification and validation in target identification and validation a target is a macromolecular object that perform our biological function it is also called the receptor our newly dra- uh, developed drug is always attack the target or modify the target the idea about target from uh, scientific literature or research paper or data mining in target validation process experimental models and assays are developed to screen and eva- uh, evaluate the pharmacological link to the phenotype of interest validation through tool compounds or genetic approach can be conducted then lead compound screening a lead compound is a new chemical with certain pharmacological activity uh, sometimes it's called drug that is potential to made for disease to experimental screening for screening method high throughput screening automated robotic to quickly perform millions of assay to match the drug like property actually we develop thousands of drug by this method we find out which drug is more suitable the next is the focused screening it involve narrow compound to smaller subset that may have certain prior uh, non activity with the drug target through literature all this method we can find out which drug is more suitable next is lead compound optimization the developers record the detailed measurement of how to active and selective each core compound is to the target uh, protein versus other non target protein they will select the one most actively binding and we select that as a lead compound or a drug this does not only potency selectivity but also the toxicity safety and distributions by these methods we found the most suitable drug next method is the drug development and approval process the first is the preclinical study it has in vitro and in vivo testing in vitro examine the drug molecule interaction in test tube and within the lab settings in vivo testing drug molecule on animal models and living cultures testing to human are not permitted in this stage because the purpose of this stage to obtain preliminary efficacy toxicity pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics information next investigational new drug ind request with fda by ind is a request for fda to authorize to start of human clinical trials fda will scrutinize the result from preclinical testing side effect and other safety features of drug examine the drug chemical structure take a look at the manufacturing process of drug all pharmaceutical companies must apply preclinical study information and data for fda approval thus the patent will always be less than 20 years 
get the FDA approval. When we got the FDA approval, we can start the clinical trials. It has three steps, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. In phase 1, this phase looking how a drug absorbed eliminated from body as well as the side effect. Study conducted with normal group of healthy volunteers. In phase 2, the step mainly focused on the safety. The patient pool wired up to 100 or more patients to find out most optimal dose. In phase 3, test, uh, tested drugs will be judged phase 3 and determine if each study is a success or failure. Safety and efficacy play an important role at this stage. Patient pool involved a few hundred to thousands of patients. It is the longest of all phases of drug development. New drug application filing with FDA. If the phase 3 outcome is promising, the, uh, they file the NDA with FDA. For NDA submission, we need all research, safety data examined, all animal and human clinical data collected, proposed labeling, safety update, patent information and so on. If NDA is accepted, FDA can collect us, collect users uh, fees and has the next to 10 months to make decision. If drug is accepted, the review process may call it quality for one or more of this designation. Fast, fast track design designation, fast track designation, accelerated approval, priority review, breaking therapy designation. Next, post-market safety monitoring. Drug and Cosmetic Act, FNC Act, continues after the drug is on the market. Manufacturer will voluntarily recall the defective product when they are discovered. There are three levels of recall from FDA. Class 1 is the product cause any severe health problem. Class 2 the product cause temporarily health problem. Class 3 is product cause adverse effect. The goal of this post-market activity make sure the approved drugs continue effectively for this intended purpose. Rational Drug Discovery We use modern technique for select a lead compound or drug. This is completely modern techniques. In traditional process, we need more time to find out which drug is suitable. But now it's so simple. Identify a disease, isolate protein by genomics, proteomics and transcriptomics. Screening up to 1 lakh compound a day for activity against a target high throughput screening, molecular modeling, virtual screening, predict activity. Then find a suitable drug. These steps are similar to traditional methods. So, I am not include these steps again in this slide. I only discuss about how suitable drug is found out by modern techniques. There are two methods to find out the suitable drug. The first is structure based drug discovery. The second one is ligand based drug discovery. In structure based drug discovery, 3D information about biomolecules obtained from techniques as X-ray crystallography and NMR spectroscopy. The next is ligand based drug discovery. It has a QSA, QSAR modeling and pharmacophore development. In drug, drug designing, we use the computational tools, methodology for structure guided approach, green expression data analysis by software. So efficiency of drug increased, time saved and cost effect. QSAR modeling, quantitative structure activity relationship. QSAR modeling, mathematical relationship linked the chemical structure with biological activity. Mathematical method used in QSR to detect the structures. Here we use the regression analysis to know the relationship between dependent and independent variables. Here we use the regression analysis to know the relationship between dependent and independent variable. We have a set of variable X. X is the receptor molecule potency and the y variable represent the chemical properties of the drug. We find the algorithm that provides accurate value. Step to check out the obtaining algorithm value has ability to predict the property value. This is also called validation. 
2DQS AR provide the information of the molecule. 3DQS AR gives coordinate information about each molecule. Advantage. Able to predict activity of large number of compounds. It also called green chemistry because it reduces testing of animals and cell cultures and low time of consume. The next is the pharmacophore. This model explains how structurally diverse ligand can bind to common receptor site. It has features hydrophobic centroids, aromatic ring, H2O binding receptor, cation and anions. Ligand receptor interaction polar positive, polar negative or hydrophobic. Here are the steps. Select a set of ligand or drug molecule. Choose diverse set of molecule used for pharmacophore model. Conformational analysis. Create bioactive conformation. Molecular imposition. Allow all combination of pharmacophore model conformation which means allow the conformation between ligand or drug molecule with receptor. The next step is the validation. Observe the biological activity between ligand or drug molecule and receptor. Next is the structure based drug discovery. By this method we can understand structural and chemical binding property of target. Here we got the structure based information that are more predictive. This is highly successful and attractive strategy used in pharmaceutical and research industries. We can visualize the shape and structure nature of the binding site of the specific target protein and interaction between ligand and protein within the active site. This is involved X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy and de novo drug discovery. NMR and X-ray technique classes are available in this channel. I only discussing de novo drug designing. So the de novo drug design. In this type of drug designing, structural determination of lead target and its modification using molecular modeling tools. We create a compound that are complementary to the receptor of protein. Allow all combination binding between protein and compound and find the better binding profile. This is type of method provide shape of constraints, interaction site hydrogen bonds, electrostatic and other non-covalent interactions. When this method is coupled with high throughput screening, is provide drug design turn around time. We can identify numbers and variety structures which could be limitless. Find out strongly to its target. Thank you.